shots to this vibe. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a vampire makeover effect in your photo. And the final product should look something like this. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so what I'm going to do is open up the original photo. And I'm, the first step I'm going to do is create a new layer. And I'm going to get the brush tool, making sure that the palette is on flat black. I'm going to have the opacity of the brush on 39, and I'm going to zoom in to 400, and I'm just going to paint over the eyes for that like dark around the eye effect, obviously. And it's good to have it on the um, <coughs> excuse me, soft um, um, fuzz type of brush tool because. Um, you can layer it up better and it looks more like it's blending more naturally. Okay, that should look pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and get the eraser. And I'm going to turn the eraser's opacity down to, say, 31%. And have it on 12, just so it's a little bit smaller. And from here, I'm just going to erase the areas where the pupil and the white area of the eye is. Like so. And you can turn the hard brush on if you want to for the edging. and I'm just going into the other eye. Just making sure I know exactly where the eye line is for the photo. Go in and get the hard tool again. Okay, that should be good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the brush, I mean the eraser tool, excuse me, large. Mm, 45 is pretty good. And I'm going to turn the opacity down to 12. And I'm going to go over it so I can make the makeup look like it's faded a little bit more. And turn the size down. I just want to have that natural fading look. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create another new layer. I'm going to get the ellipse selection tool and I'm just going to drag it over the pupil. I'm going to hold the shift key down, drag over the other pupil. I think I can get better than that. Let me do the best I can. Alright, that's a little bit better. Now what I'm going to do is to make sure my brush is on white grab my brush tool, make sure the opacity is on 100, get rid of the fuzz, and just paint over it. Now I can deselect, get my selection tool, double click the layer. Well actually, first things first, we need to put the layer on overlay, so I have that effect here, and I'm going to, now I'm going to double click, go into bevel and emboss, and let's see, what should I do? Um, for this, I believe I did 368, um, oops, 46, um, hmm, I see I've messed up, let me try that again, I apologize, um, bevel and boss, you have to click it, I make that mistake sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm 368, the size, and 46. Um, leaving 
that at zero, leaving this at 75. I can close that out. And then I can select to see what the eyes look like. They have more of a glowing effect, which looks pretty good. Um, let's zoom out. Okay, you can see where this is going. So the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to create another new layer and zoom back in 40%, grab my brush tool, making sure that it's on white, get the fuzz, and making sure the opacity is 100%, I'm just going to paint over the lips, like so. And now I'm just going to put the layer on soft white. Don't worry if you go outside the edges, it's fine. Just make sure you cover the whole object. Now I'm going to go into image, adjustments, hue, saturation, colorize, and leaving the hue on zero, I'm going to have the saturation on 69. And I'm going to have the lightness on well, just turn it down a bit. That looks pretty good for this. I'll just hit OK. Now, obviously, I need to erase the excess coloring. So I'm going to turn the brush size down on the eraser tool, set the opacity at 100%, and just go in and erase the excess lip coloring. mess up, you can just hit Control z and that undoes it, whatever you just did, and that looks pretty good, get a little more color here, okay, that's fine, okay, so, the next step I'm going to take with ellipses, I'm going to turn the opacity down to 64%, and I'm going to zoom in again, and I'm going to get the burn tool, turning it down a bit, making sure I have my lips layer selected. I'm just going to go in and um, have shadows turned on on my burn tool and just burn a little bit. Play with the exposure till I'm happy with the outcome. And play with these two. Sometimes it doesn't appear to be working for me. Um, turn it up to 100% again and see if it does any difference. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks good enough. Okay, so, so the next step that I'm going to take is I'm going to make sure I have my color palette on black, select the brush tool, I'm going to make the brush size 172, and I'm going to have a new layer, and making sure it's the top layer, I'm just going to go ahead and color in the background. here. You can see it creates a dramatic effect. Now the next step that I want to do is um, on the layers panel, turn the light to soft light, and now I'm going to right click this layer, duplicate the layer, and just go over it again. Cool. 
So, for the skin tones, we don't have to do this for your vampire portrait, but I think it makes it look more like an undead look to go ahead and click the background layer and go to um, the sponge tool, have it on desaturate, and just wash the skin over with this desaturate. And just put a little on, <coughs> excuse me. And that kind of finishes off that vampire look. So. And finally, to give the photo that um, supernatural glow effect, what you want to do is go down to background, right click, and flatten the image. Next, you want to go up to filter, artistic, and film grain. From here you want to make sure the grain is on zero and you just play with the highlighted areas and intensity till it's what you want. Something like that looks pretty good. And you just hit OK and there's your finished product. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to comment and subscribe. Until next week, bye bye.